Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you? Doing great. Thank you very much. Okay. Just give me a moment and we can begin. Okay. There it is. I'm going to share the screen with you now. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Okay. Um, attendance list. Okay, when you hear your name, let me know. Adán Iglesias Velázquez. Adán Iglesias. Presente. Hello, welcome, Adán. Hi, Arles Ernesto López. Good evening, I am here. Are you in a restaurant? Yes. <laughs> okay, enjoy your food. Restaurant Cachivaches. Nice. Okay, Baudilio Elenilson Rivera. Good evening, teacher. I am here. Welcome, Baudilio. Carlos Alberto Santos Reyes. I'm here, teacher present. Welcome, Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. David Antonio Rosales García. Welcome, David. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Edith Consuelo Represa Toledo. Ahí la veo conectada. Ok. Welcome, Edith. Enrique Pérez Lemus. Vente, teacher. Welcome, Enrique. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Ever Enrique Gallegos Mejía. Present teacher. Welcome. Ever Francis Alballero. Present Ever... teacher. Okay, welcome, Ever. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O Ayala Hernández. Ever Aristides Oye Ruiz. Present teacher. Welcome, Ever. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Amilcar Reyes Cruz. I am here, teacher. Good Welcome, evening. Welcome, José Amilcar. José Benjamín Gavidia Guevara. Presente, teacher. Welcome, José Benjamín. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Juan Carlos Portillo Arias. Presente, teacher. Welcome, Juan Carlos. Juan Francisco Arrasaba el Calderón. Presente, teacher. Welcome, Juan Francisco. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Yulisa Vázquez de Aparicio. María de Lourdes Miroslava Mansur Aguilar. Good evening, teacher. Eh, Welcome, María de Lourdes. Este, Karen Yulisa eh, tiene problemas de, de salud de su hija. Su hija está hospitalizada, por eso no va a poder conectarse. Ok. Bueno, gracias por, por informarnos. Esperemos que eh, se ponga mejor la niña. Bueno. De igual manera, vamos a seguirla llamando por si pudiese llegar a conectarse, ¿verdad? Pero gracias por notificarme. María Magdalena Cedillos González. Good evening, teacher present. Welcome, María Magdalena. Mauro Orlando Vázquez Segura. Present, teacher. Welcome, Mauro. Mónica Ivette Merino Rivas. 
Present, teacher. Welcome, Monica. Oscar Susana Castellano. Present, teacher. Welcome, Oscar. Salvador Manrique Hernández Vázquez. Present, teacher. Welcome, Salvador. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Wilber Rafael Rivas Arias. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Welcome, Wilber. Ok. Uh, llamamos nuevamente Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. <laughs> Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Cecia Gemima Ortiz Núñez. Cecia Gemima. Teacher, present. Ok, welcome, Cecia. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Franklin de la O. Ayala Hernández. Franklin de la O, Ayala Hernández. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Santos Mauricio Arias Valle. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Ok, por acá nos dice el mensaje, Edith Consuelo, aquí estoy, teacher, ya está tomada su asistencia, muchas gracias. Ok, tomaremos nuevamente al finalizar la clase. Ok, everybody, take a look. Uh, welcome okay. once again. Yes, who's, who's calling me? ¿Quién me llama? Siempre levantemos no, la mano. Aquí estoy, Edith. teacher. Edith Consuelo. Ok, sí, ahí, ahí miro. Ok, perfecto. Sí, okay. Eh, como le decía, ¿verdad? Ya, ya tomé su asistencia y ya aparece como presente. No se preocupe. Ok. Ok, okay thank you. You're welcome. Ok, vamos, entonces. Um, everybody, welcome. This is Inglés Preintermedio, módulo 1. And that's me, Iván Doñán, at your service. This is session number 4, and today is July 27th of 2023. Let's do this. Yesterday, we uh, started this exercise, but we couldn't complete it. Okay, so let's take a look. We, we're going to have a review. It's the simple present WH questions and statements, the grammar focus today. So you have the question, for example, what do you do? What do you do? You have, I'm a student. I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at a restaurant or I work in a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Now, take a look. Third person singular. Third person singular is he, she, and it, okay? So where does Andrea work? It's like, where does she work, okay? She works, third person singular. You have to change the verb. She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? Look, you use does because you're using she. What does she do? She's a guide. She takes people on tours. And the last one, how does she like it? She loves it. Okay, just remember that. For When the subject is I, you, we, or they, you need to use do in the question and the verb in base form. When the subject is he, she or it, you need to use does as the auxiliary, and then you have to use the verb in base war. Okay. In affirmative sentences for the subjects I, you, we, and they, you will use the verb in base form like work, take, study, teach, do, go, and have. But in affirmative sentences with he, she, or it, you will have to use the verb with an S, ES, or IES as necessary. You have works, takes, studies, teaches, does, 
goes and has. Okay, and we started this exercise, which is complete these conversations, then practice with a partner. The first one was completed. What do you do? I'm a full-time student. I study the violin. And where do you go to school? I go to the New York School of Music. Wow, how do you like your classes? I like them a lot. Now we have to complete conversation two. We have a chat entry. Franklin Delao says he's present. He's in class now. Thank you, Franklin Delao. Attendance taken. Okay. Uh, what are we going to do? I need volunteers. Okay, there's the conversation. What is the question? If you know, please raise your hand. Let's participate. Maria de Lourdes. What does Tania do? What does Tania do? That is correct. Okay. She's a teacher. She. What do you have? She's a teacher. She. Maria Lourdes. She teach. She teaches. Teach, teaches, teaches, right? Okay. Teaches. She teaches an art and class. An art class. At the school in Denver. Okay, yeah, correct. School Thank you. Denver. Thank you, Maria Lourdes. And what about the next question? What about Ryan? Where? Need a volunteer, please. I have 20 students right now. Only one is answering. What about the rest? Es una pregunta. ¿Qué es lo que le falta a la pregunta ahí? El auxiliar. So, Baudilio. Where do? But the subject is he. Remember, you use do when the subject is I, you, we, or they. In the case of he, she, and it, the auxiliary verb is different. It's not do. Who can help us? Cecia. Where does he work? Where does he work? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Where does he work? Because the subject is he, right? And then they say he, he what? You have to use the same verb. So what is it? Cecia. Does again? Mm -mm, because this is he not. Is it's, 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 it's not a question. He. The question is, where does he work? So he. He work for a big computer company in Can San you Francisco. can you repeat it, please? He walk. He walk walk. Mm, diff, no. Diff, no. Voy a copiar, teacher, pero. Okay. Next, oh, particip next okay. participant. Next participant. Okay. All right. Next participant. Solo tres personas me están participando. Okay. Enrique. Let's let's do it. Teacher. Yes. Uh, he work for a bike computer company in the San Francisco. He work. Okay. But the subject is he. Yeah. Hmm? Entonces, ¿qué le faltará ahí al verbo para, para estar completo? Works. He works. That's right. You say he works for a big computer company in San Francisco, right? Always remember, right? In affirmative sentences with he, she, it, the verb changes, works, takes, studies, teaches, does, goes, and has. So he works for a big computer company in San Francisco. Thank you very much. And uh, the last question, Maria de Lourdes. 
What does he do exactly? What does he do exactly? Okay, correct. What does he do exactly? He's a web website designer. He So, he's a website designer. He una pista, fíjense. Number two, what does Tanya do? She's a teacher. She teaches. He's a website designer. He designer. <laughs> Okay, well, yeah, but uh, third person singular form? Uh huh, Paulilio? No? The signal. No, uh, what you told me was correct, okay? Design, pero como el sujeto es he, entonces, ¿cuál es la forma del verbo? Ah, he does, he does. He does. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Design es un verbo. Design es el verbo. Pero siempre eh, recordemos, una oración afirmativa cuando el sujeto es he, she o it, implica que el verbo va a cambiar. El verbo va a llevar esa S al final. Entonces no puede ser solamente design. Tiene que ser designers. Designers, no. Designer es diseñador. Vamos a ver acá. <laughs> Take a look. You have a designer. Designer is a noun. Okay, it means diseñador. Okay, but there is the verb, design. That's a verb, que es diseñar. Ahora bien, ya tienen el verbo. ¿Cuál es la forma correcta del verbo en este caso? Is the sign of, the signal. Mm -mm. Why the past? It's, it's not the past, it's the present. He's the thing, fantastic website. The answer is he designs fantastic websites with an S, designs. Mm -hmm. Con he, she, it, oraciones afirmativas, el verbo va a cambiar, ¿verdad? Va a llevar esa S, ES o IES. Sorry, teacher, no he estudiado. It's, it's okay, don't worry. Okay, so he designs fantastic websites. All right, that's the idea. So uh, that simple present WH questions and statements. Uh, that's the content that you will find in the video uh, from point uh, from from uh, section two point three, simple present WH questions and statements, and also the knowledge check in two point four. Chat entry. Santos Mauricio is here. Okay, Santos. Thank you. Welcome. All right. Let us continue. We still have a lot to do. So lesson objective, in this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expressions are first introduced. En esta clase escucharán una conversación donde expresiones de tiempo son presentadas por primera vez. That's 2.5, lesson objective. And here's the conversation. I start work at five, okay? I start work at five. Otro repaso también de lo que hemos visto con anterioridad, la hora, okay? So uh, listen in practice. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Can you hear that? Yeah. Okay, thank you. From the beginning. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at 5. 
Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay. So there's a conversation. Page 11, exercise 7. If, uh, um, can I have two volunteers to read the conversation aloud, please? If you do me that favor. Baudilio, you read Daniel, and Cecia, you read Ellen. Okay, let's do it. So do you usually come on, come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Whoa, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report and KNTB. K -N -T -B. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. I'm Daniel. I'm Daniel. Okay, Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you, Audilio and Cecia. So Daniel says, so do you usually come to the gym in the morning? And Helen says, yeah, I do. Short answer. Daniel says, really? What time do you go to work? Helen says, I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. And Daniel says, wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? Helen says, I usually get home at midnight. Daniel says, midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? And Helen says, I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? And Daniel says, oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. And there's the rest of the conversation. So, do you have any questions about the vocabulary or the expressions? Or the pronunciation of any words? Baudilio. By the way. By the way is por cierto or a propósito. Okay, that's the meaning of by the way. By the hey, way, thank you. I'm Daniel. Okay, you're welcome. Cecia, do you have any questions? Sí, perdón. Eh, mm. Recognize. <laughs> recognize. Pronunciation. Re is recognize. Recognize. Mm, recognize. The, the stress is at the beginning. You say re recognize. So, uh huh. Any other questions? No more questions. Okay, we we'll continue. Lesson objective 2.7. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as prepositions of time and adverbs of time. Al final de esta clase, los participantes serán capaces de identificar y usar expresiones de tiempo tales como a las en alrededor de tarde, temprano, antes, después, hasta, etc., etc. So, what's the thing here? This is the grammar focus. Time expressions. Uh, just a moment. Time expressions. You say, for example, I get up at seven. Okay, that's the first one. I get up at seven. I go to bed around 10. Okay, I go to bed around 10. Around. This is when the time is not specific. Okay. Cuando la hora no es específica. I go to bed around, around 10. Alrededor de las 10, o más o menos a las 10, right? Around 10. Then you have, I leave work early. Early means temprano. I get home late. Llego tarde, okay? I get home late. I stay up. 
I stay up means permanezco despierto o me desvelo también. I stay up until midnight. Until. What is the meaning of until? Until means hasta. Until means hasta. Okay, so I stay up until midnight. Permanezco despierto hasta la medianoche. Then you have I wake up before noon. Or I wake up after noon. Despierto antes del mediodía o despierto después del mediodía. You can also use the expressions in the morning. You can say in the evening. You can say in the afternoon. But be careful because when you have night, you don't say in the night. No, you say at night, just that. Remember, you say in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, at night. Okay? So, um, you can also use it with the days of the week. On Saturdays, on Sundays. Okay? When you have the days of the week, you use the preposition on. On Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday. Enrique, do you have a question? Sobre la utilización de at y de on. Consultando con, bueno, mi hijo también estudia inglés en la Universidad Tecnológica. Y yo le hacía una consulta y me dijo algo. Y este, la voy a consultar a usted. Por ejemplo, la... Eh, para decir, este, cuando me refiero a la noche, siempre ocupo at. Cuando me refiero en, en la mañana, en el, el día, por la tarde, se ocupa on. In. Es in. Es in. ¿Eh? In the morning. Aquí está. You say in the morning, in the mm. afternoon, in the evening, but you say at night. Mm -hmm. Entonces mm -hmm. cumple, o, o, o es cierto, lo, o para confirmar eso ahí, porque posiblemente sí. usted sea, eh, eh, tenga o, o amplíe esa información. Mm, sí, la cuestión es que se utilizan estas preposiciones, ¿verdad? Usted dice cuando se trata de la mañana, in the morning, right? Mm -hmm. En las tempranas horas de la noche, por ejemplo, ahorita podría ser in the evening, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. You say, I have a class in the evening. Mm -hmm. Tengo una clase en la noche. I have a class in the evening. In the afternoon, en la tarde, ¿verdad? At night, mm -hmm. ya es la noche, pero horas un poquito más, más tarde, ya de las ocho, nueve para arriba, digamos. At night, ¿ok? Mm -hmm. Pero si se utiliza in. Vamos a ocupar on para referirnos a los días. On Saturdays, on Sundays. ¿Y okay? a los meses también? No, los meses es in. In September... Gracias, Mm -hmm. In October, in December, etc., etc. Gracias, okay. ya me dio otra idea complementaria. Gracias. Ok, all right. María de Lourdes. Thank you, teacher. Es decir que nunca se debe decir in the night. Se puede decir in the night, pero en otras circunstancias. Cuando estamos hablando, digamos, eh, de la hora, o de un periodo de tiempo, se dice at night. La expresión in the night sí existe, pero se utiliza en otras circunstancias. Uh -huh. Aunque, como les digo, para referirnos al tiempo o para cuando suceden las cosas, se dice at night. So, um, also you say on weekdays, the weekdays are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. On weeknights are the nights of the same days, okay? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. You can say on weekends. On weekends is Saturday, Sunday. You say on Fridays, etc., etc. So again, remember, right? When you express the time, you have to use the preposition at, at seven, okay? When you don't have the specific time, you say around 10. You can use early, late, until, which means hasta, okay? Before, antes, after, después. 
okay? In the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, at night, on Saturdays, on Sundays, on Fridays, on weekdays, on weeknights, on weekends. And something else that we have studied before, expressing clock time. You can say seven, seven o'clock. 7 a.m. is 7 in the morning. 7 p.m. is 7 in the evening. That's how you express it. So what are we going to do right here? Take a look. Um, complete these sentences with time expressions. What about number one? I need a volunteer. Baudilio, and then Maria Magdalena for the second one. Okay, I get up at six in the morning on weekday. Correct, I get up at six in the morning on weekdays. That is correct. Thank you, Baudilio. Maria Magdalena, number two. I go to bed. Me escucha, teacher? Yes, I can hear you. I go to bed. I go. To, I go. I go to, to, sorry. I go to I, bed. I go to bed mm -hmm. around midnight. In on week on week nights. On week nights. So I go to bed. You told me around midnight. Okay, it's possible, but you can also use at at midnight. It's possible. At midnight. At midnight. Okay. On weeknights. Okay. On weeknights. Thank you very much. Uh, number three, volunteers, please raise your hand. Maria Magdalena. Uh, I have a question. Sure. Is the, is the, de las dos formas se puede uh, uh, as, Lo que le dije antes, ¿se puede, profe? Se puede, sin embargo, el significado es diferente. Si usted ah, me okay. dice at, significa uh -huh. que a esa hora cabal, ¿verdad? Ah, me dice okay. around, es alrededor. Alrededor, o sea, ¿verdad? Puede ser antes o puede ser un poco después. Ah, ok, thanks. Uh -huh. You're welcome. What about number three? Enrique. Esto, eh... Perdón, number three. Uh, I start work in 11, 20, uh, 20 mm -mm, mm -mm. at night. Mm -mm, sorry, it's not in. For the time, we use a different preposition. I start work. I start work. In. Mm -mm. On. No. At, at okay at 11 uh, at 11 30 mm -hmm. at night at night okay i start work at 11 30 at night mm -hmm. always remember for the time you have to use the preposition at at seven at eight at 11 at two at noon at midnight etc etc thank you maria de lourdes number four Yes, what's your question? Este, eh, como dice 11.30, pensé que era de la mañana, no de la noche. O siempre, o depende cómo interprete. No, es decir, habría que ser específico, ¿verdad? Si uno dice, I start work. Si yo dijera, por ejemplo, I start work at 11.30, lo más normal es que la gente pensase que es en la mañana, pues, porque... Difícil que alguien empiece a las once y media de la noche. Sin embargo, existen casos, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted tendría que especificar. I start work at 11.30 at night. Para que no vayan a pensar que es en la mañana. Ajá. Ok. María de Lourdes, number four. I have lunch at three in the afternoon on Fridays. I have lunch at three in the afternoon on Fridays. That's correct. Thank you, Maria. Number five, volunteer, please. Mm. 
lamento siempre un poquito que a pesar de mis repetidas peticiones, mmm, hay gente que nada, 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 ok, pero bueno, agradezco siempre a los que participan, nuevamente hago el llamado, ¿verdad?, a que tratemos de integrarnos a la clase, no solamente conectarnos a la clase, sino también participar en ella, es importante, es una forma en la que aprendemos. Cecia Enden Baudilio. I stay up at one. Mm, not exactly. Not at. Stay up means permanecer despierto. Ah. So you need to use a different preposition. I stay up until. Yes. One uh -huh. a.m. on weekends. On weekends. Okay. I stay up until 1 a.m. on weekends. Okay. Yeah, that's correct. I stay up until 1 a.m. on weekends. Permanezco despierto o me desvelo, ¿verdad? Hasta la una de la mañana, ¿verdad? Los fines de semana. No descansa el fin de semana. Okay. Number six. Baudilio. I have have a little snack at nine, nine in the evening. Correct. I have a little snack at nine in the evenings. Okay. Maria de Lourdes, number seven. I sleep until noon mm -hmm. on Sunday. I sleep until noon on Sundays. That's correct. Very good. There you go. You have the sentences right there. I sleep until noon on Sundays. Great. Moving on. Ah, by the way, that's section 2.8, time expressions and knowledge check 2.9. Okay. Así que ya vimos el knowledge check 2.9. Prácticamente es este mismo ejercicio. Vamos completándolo ahí, ¿verdad? Acuérdense que para hoy ya tiene que estar completa la sección 2. Ya mañana comenzamos la sección 3. <laughs> okay. Lesson objective. In this class, participants, par participants is wrongly spelled. Okay, wait a second. Participants, okay, will develop listening skills for specific information about daily schedules. En esta clase, los participantes desarrollarán, desarrollarán sí, su habilidad auditiva escuchando información específica sobre itinerario diario. Okay. So, uh, that's lesson objective 2.10. So, what are we going to do? It's a listening exercise. Take a look. It's uh, daily schedules. Listen to Rodney, Tina, and Ellen talk about their daily schedules. Complete the chart, okay? So, you have, for example, uh, you have uh, four different columns. Job gets up at, la hora que se levanta, Gets home at, la hora que regresa a la casa. Goes to bed at, a la hora que se acuesta. So you have Rodney. His job is chef. He's a chef. Gets up at, you need to complete that information. Gets home at, complete that. Goes to bed at, etc., etc. What about Tina? You have to listen for her job. Gets up at 7 a.m. Gets home at, goes to bed at. Helen, we don't know the job. We don't know what time she gets up, but we know that she gets home at 9 p.m. So I need you to listen to the track and complete the information. Everybody, please take notes. Okay, this is necessary. Okay, tomen apuntes. So again, you need to listen for this, this information. The job, the time they get up, the time they get back home, and the time they go to bed. The speakers are Rodney, Tina, and Helen. Ellen, I'm sorry, not Helen. Helen. So uh, let's listen to it. I'm going to play the track twice. Okay. Let's begin. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m and I'm usually in bed by one in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, 
I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay, I'm going to play the track a second time. Everybody, listen, please. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m., and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay, do you have the information or do you need me to play the track one more time? Play the track one more time. One more time. Okay, no problem. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay. So, do you have the information? Or not yet? <laughs> Okay. Do you need to listen to it for the last time? Necesitan que lo ponga una vez más? One more time. Okay. The last time, everybody. Let's listen. What do you do, Rodney? I'm a chef. Hey, that's great. So, what are your work hours like? They're okay. I work in the afternoons and evenings. I get up around 9 a.m. and I work from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. I get home fairly late, about 11 p.m., and I'm usually in bed by 1 in the morning. And what do you do, Tina? Well, I'm an office manager. It's a regular 9 to 5 office job, so I get up at 7 a.m. and get home around 6 p.m. That's okay, though, because I like to go out at night. I go to bed around midnight on weekdays. What about you, Ellen? Well, my job is a bit different. I'm a flight attendant. I start work at 6 in the morning, so I have to get up before 5 a.m. Wow, that's too early for me. Then I often have long flights, so I don't get home until 9 o'clock at night. But I always go to bed right away, around 10. Okay, time to check information. What about the first one? Rodney, what time does he get up? If you know the answer, please raise your hand and let me know. What time does he get up?
Baudilio and then Cecia. 9 a.m. I am. 9 a.m. Okay, he gets up at 9 a.m. Okay. Cecia, what time does Rodney get back home? 11 and 12 p.m. 11 p.m. Okay, that's correct. And what time does he go to bed? If you know the answer, please raise your hand. Okay, Cecia, thank you very much. The morning. But what time? Ay, eso no le escuché bien. Okay, no problem. Who has the answer? Who has the answer? Maria de Lourdes. 1 a.m. 1 a.m. That's correct. Okay, goes to bed at 1 a.m. Thank you. What about Tina? What does she do? What's her job? Maria Magdalena. Office manager. Office manager. She's an office manager. Okay, correct. She gets up at 7 a.m. And what time does she get home? Baudilio? 6 p.m. At 6 p.m. That's correct. Okay, very good. 6 p.m. And what time does she go to bed? Maria Lourdes. Midnight. At midnight. Okay, that's correct. Very good. Okay. What about uh, Ellen? Okay, what does Ellen do? Uh, Valdilio. Flight attendant. She's a flight attendant. Okay, yeah, that's correct. She's a flight attendant. What time does she get up, Cecia? 6 a.m. Again, please. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Mm, not exactly. Maria Lourdes? 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Okay, yeah, she gets up at 5 a.m. And what time does she go to bed? If you know the answer, raise your hand, please. Mm -hmm. Maria Lourdes. 10 p.m. 10 p.m. Okay. That is correct. Okay, 10 p.m. That's the time she goes to bed uh, at. Okay, good. That's it. That's the listening part, daily schedules. All right, and that's uh, listening exercise 2.10. And that's the end of uh, the, that's the end of uh, the section. Okay, we have covered section one and section two. Okay, on the first week. So what are we going to do? Uh, Bodilio, do you have a question? Yeah, I have a question. Mm -hmm. What uh, what is schedule? Schedule. Schedule. Schedule means horario. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's the schedule. And Thank Rick, you. Teacher. You're welcome. Teacher, este, en uh, este ejercicio, mm -hmm. en cuanto a mi persona, o la adivinó, tenía dos, dos correctas. Eh, ¿Será que cuando ponga otro audio lo puede poner un poco más suave si tendría esa, esa función ahí? Pues tengo este entendido que los audios a veces se puede poner lento, término normal y más rápido. Ah. Ahora, un método por ahí para, para aquellos que nos cuesta ahí, eh, que no escuchamos bien o por la edad o algo. Estilo. Un poquito más lento. Sí, pero si sí, fuera bueno, si no... Nos mantenemos porque es una forma de... Sí. Como de para que pueda poner más atención. De ver. O como que estar más atento ahí. Nada más una sugerencia ahí, teacher. O un comentario. Pues fíjese que función para ralentizarlo no tengo. Tengo para recortar audio, pero no ralentizarlo. A, a, a pues mejor este normal para que lo, lo obligue uno a, a escuchar mejor. <risa> ok. Sí, entiendo que es un poquito rápido. Hablan un poquito rápido estas personas. Okay. So, well, um, I want you... Well, we're going to do this, okay? Because we don't have much time. 
We're going to go over this part. Take a look. This. Um, a review. Un repaso. Maria Lourdes. Uh, thank you, teacher. Solamente unirme este, también a la petición del señor Pérez, que siento que, bueno, entiendo que ya es un nivel preintermedio, ¿verdad? Pero aún así, yo siento demasiado rápido este, las conversaciones uh -huh. y cuesta un poco todavía educar el oído. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, no sé si, si este, bueno, si en la plataforma se podría hacer eh, algún algún cambio en eso o, o, o si nos nos pueden apoyar con un material donde esté un poco más donde hablen un poco más despacio de porque ese es un problema que tiene el idioma también inglés que se habla muy rápido uh -huh. pues fíjese que como los audios ya están predeterminados y pues son los que se han seleccionado para la plataforma por lo menos en mi caso muy poco o nada podré hacer. Tal vez podría yo, aunque no es mi área, digamos, de experiencia, eh, tratar de ver alguna manera para ver si se puede hacer un poquito más lento el audio. Pero, de nuevo, tendría yo que rebuscarme un poquito para ver si se puede realizar. No prometo nada porque no soy demasiado técnico en ese aspecto. Pero podríamos, podría tratar de buscar una solución, digamos, para la próxima vez. Franklin de la O. Sí, sí, teacher, quizás abonando ahí, porque cuando uno quiere poner atención, algunas palabritas que más conoce, de las que hemos aprendido, ahí se queda ya en la conversación y ya uh -huh. cuando viene a querer reaccionar uno ya va bien adelante. Uh -huh. Lo mismo pasa, lo mismo pasa en la plataforma con los que están en la plataforma, porque... Uh -huh. Cuando Son los mismos. Está escuchando, sí, entonces, gran, como que fueran en carrera, mano, y una vez se quede, quiere o va analizando las palabras cuando viene a sentir ya terminado. Sí, es cierto. Bueno, vamos a hacer la sugerencia, entonces, <ríe> tal vez nos escuchen y cambian eso un poquito. Pero bueno. All right, uh, everybody, thank you for expressing your concerns. I appreciate it. Uh, present simple, take a look, negative form, ok, ya repasamos la forma afirmativa, ya dimos un medio repaso de la forma de pregunta, let's take a look at the negative form, she says, I don't have a car, she doesn't have a car, ok, so uh, present simple, negative form, take a look, affirmative, I work, you like, we do, they have, when the subject is he, she, or it, the verb changes, you say he works, she likes, she does, it has. But what about the negative form? In the negative form, you have to use, if when the subject is I, you, we, or they, you use don't. Don't is the short form of do not. For the subjects he, she, and it, you have to use doesn't. Doesn't is the short form of does not. And after that, you have to use a verb in base form, okay? Después de eso, siempre va a ocupar un verbo en forma base. Este cambio donde usted le pone S, I, S, o A, I, S, o cambia a has en este caso, eh, solamente sucede con he, she, it, y solamente en oraciones afirmativas. Si ya es negativa o pregunta, no. El verbo va a ir siempre en su forma base. En las negativas y en la pregunta, lo que cambia es el auxiliar, Cuando usted ocupa I, you, we, y they es do en la pregunta o don't en la negativa. Y con he, she, it sería does en la pregunta o doesn't en la negativa. Pero el verbo en forma base. Veamos acá. Sue drinks tea. That's affirmative. Sue drinks tea, but she doesn't drink coffee. That's negative. So I drink coffee, but I don't drink tea. Sue drinks tea but she doesn't drink coffee. You don't work very hard. We don't watch TV very often. The weather is usually nice here. It doesn't rain very often. Matt and Alice don't know many people. Okay? Just remember, when the subject is I, you, we, or they, we use don't. Like, I don't like football. 
When the subject is he, she, or it, we use doesn't. He doesn't like football. I don't like Josh, and Josh doesn't like me. No me agrada Josh, y yo no le agrado a él. So my, my car doesn't use much gas. Sometimes he is late, but it doesn't happen very often. Okay, a veces llega tarde, verdad, pero no sucede muy seguido. It doesn't happen very often. Remember that we use don't or doesn't plus the base form of the verb. Always the base form of the verb. I don't like to wash the car. I don't do it very often. Sandra speaks Spanish, but she doesn't speak Italian. Si ustedes se fijan, no decimos she doesn't speak, okay? Because it's a negative sentence. In the negative sentence, you have to use the verb in base form. Bill doesn't do his job very well. And Maria doesn't usually have breakfast. No decimos doesn't have breakfast, you know, doesn't have breakfast. That's how it works. So we're going to do this exercise right here. Write the negative. Tell me the negative forms of these sentences. I play the piano very well. What's the negative of this? What's the negative form? Maria de Lourdes. I don't play the piano very well. I don't play the piano very well. That is correct. Very good. Thank you very much. What about the second one? The second one is, Anna plays the piano very well. What's the negative form? What's the negative form? Uh, Maria Magdalena. Maria Magdalena. No, me, me cuesta que me abra aquí. Ah, ya okay. me abrió. Ya yes. oye. Yes, I can hear you. Sí, no. Ana does not play the piano very well. Ana does not play the piano very well, or the short form, Ana doesn't play the piano doesn't. very well. Okay, okay. good. Good, thank you. Um, what about what about the next one? You have uh, they know my phone number. What's the negative form? Baudilio. They doesn't know my. Mm -mm. Doesn't is only for he, she, it. Okay, they mm. don't know my phone number they don't know my phone number okay correct they don't know my phone number good thank you number four we work very hard what's the negative form maria magdalena we don't work very hard we don't work very hard that's correct okay good uh number five mike has a cat What's the negative form? David Antonio. Mike Dan has a uh, cat. Mm -mm. Mike is he. Don't. Mm -mm. Don't is what we use when the subject is I, oh, okay, okay. you, we, or okay, they. Okay. Uh -huh. Mike doesn't. Yes. Doesn't has a cat. Mm -mm. After don't and doesn't, we have to use the main verb in base form. How? Uh -huh. Mike doesn't have a cat. Mike doesn't have a cat. That's correct. Okay. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. Mike, you're welcome. Mike doesn't have a cat. Number six, you do the same thing every day. What's the negative form? You uh huh. Done. Hands up. Raise your hand if you want to participate. Mm 
you do the same thing every day. Ever Enrique. You don't do the same thing every day. You don't do the same thing every day. Correct. Okay, that's right. Thank you. Number seven, Robert likes rock music. What's the negative form? Baudilio. Robert doesn't like rock music. Robert doesn't like rock music. That is correct. Thank you very much. Number eight, my parents live in San Francisco. My parents live in San Francisco. Baudilio. Uh, my parents don't live live in San Francisco. My parents don't live in San Francisco. Correct. They don't live in San Francisco. Number nine. He drives to work every day. Maria de Lourdes. He doesn't drive to work every, every day. He doesn't drive to work every day. That's correct. Okay, good. He doesn't drive to work every day. And number 10. Adán Iglesias. We eat pizza on weekends. We do not eat pizza on weekends. We, again, can you repeat it? We? We do not. Mm, but we don't say we don't not because that will be repetitive. So you say we, we don't. We don't. Uh -huh. We don't. Eat pizza on weekends. We don't eat pizza on weekends. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'm going to take attendance one more time. Carlos Edgardo Cruz Gonzalez. Is Carlos Edgardo here? Carlos Edgardo Cruz Gonzalez. Oh my God, again. This the... Okay, give me a second. Give me a second, please. Okay, Carlos Edgardo is here. Okay. Um, Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Erika Beatriz Guillén Pineda. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. Iván Alexis Rodríguez Asensio. José Valentín Rivera López. José Valentín Rivera López. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Karen Julisa Vázquez de Aparicio. Saúl Ernesto Martínez Portillo. Presente, teacher. Ok. Okay, we're going to finish here. Okay. Aria Valle. Perdón, ¿quién me habló? Aria Valle, presente. Santos, Santos Mauricio, sí, ya, ya le había tomado su asistencia. Okay, no, muchas gracias. Presentation. Okay. Um, everybody, thank you very much. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Acuérdense, por favor, de completar hasta la sección número dos. Eso ya tiene que estar. De acuerdo. See you tomorrow, teacher. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye, Take bye. Care. bye bye. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. <laughs>